Hi, my name is Topman Paul DK, and this is yet another episode of Code Trap Extra. What is VI? What is Vim? What is Emacs? I'm I'm going to demonstrate what that is. Uh, let me launch my file explorer here, and I want to go to my desktop. Okay, the the icons on my desktop are quite tiny, but um, you could see that I have um, the same folders here. I have. Um, Python uh, programs, I have um, Share Basics, and I have this AB, comma AC dot 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 AZ. So um, let me, I mean, I could create a new file here. You know, the, just the way you do touch on the command line. I want to create a TST file. Uh, let's call it. Um, I like to call it new file. Right. This is this is like using touch to create a new file. If you watch my desktop, it has appeared here. Right. So this new file now is empty. If I want to write into it, if I want to write into this file, once I double click on it, I see there's an, there's an app that comes out by default. So if you know this app, it's easy for you to understand what I'm trying to explain right now. Yeah, this is notes part. So I can write something into this app, you know. So into this file right there. Um, I can write something into this file. Okay. Um, let me let me add another line. So the test editor is unlimited. In in I mean, like there's no limited number of lines you can add. I can add and add and add and add and add. Okay, I'm not aware whether or not there's a limit, but I have this mindset of there's no limit. Yeah, I mean, if you find a limit, maybe you can teach me in the comment section all right after doing this i can press ctrl s you know to save but i i don't want to use keyboard shortcuts so i click here i click on save and it is saved because i, I created an empty file first so it is saved i could you know i could use notepad to to do the whole thing from the start like i can create a new file here let's let me try to write a save program with notepad see what happens so i'm going to call up notepad and i'm going to start writing first now it is not saved i want you to picture what i'm doing very well because this is how it works in the command in the terminal as well just that you're using commands this time okay that's how you work on the terminal okay uh, i want to click on the right c program hmm. include stdio h um int main okay so i want to print just hmm, something that you standard output let's say hello hello top man semicolon Enter a return value, and here is the end of the program. So I can save this once I click. Watch me. I, I'm trying to show that I could save this um, in a different format. I mean, it mustn't be a .txt file. Okay, now here is .txt. The moment I put .c, it will recognize it as as a, as a .c file. I, alternatively, I could go here. And click. Let me see. Oh, the option is not there. That's okay. Let's check. Okay, all files. Yeah. <laughs> so it's no more docs. Just file. Once you click all files, then it's 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 waiting to see whether it's a HTML file or a CSS file or a JS file, whatever. Right. So if I say um, if I call this hello. Dot C, it's automatically a C file. You can see what the editor is helping us to do right of course you, ca you, you can't run the program on the editor and i have some programs that can run c files but let's not go that far i don't want this video to be long so i'm closing it with clicks now let me take this thing to the left and call uh, and launch git bash i have a terminal here git bash i'm going to put it on the right side okay so I, i'm going to try to i'm going to navigate to the same environment and um, here we go. 
desktop, right? Desktop. And inside desktop, I moved. Okay, this is where I am. Right? This is where I am. So this is the new file, new file.txt. Windows will automatically add it to CST. Except I rename it and remove it on CST. Windows like honoring file extensions. And um, there's a C file. Oh, I didn't even pay attention to where I saved it. That's I didn't pay attention to where I saved it. That's my sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll just launch my <laughs> my notepad and try to save something again to see where it's saved. So control S. Okay, so it's saved in This is the one directory. Okay. I think I know where it's saved now. I'm going there. So I'll close this. Don't save. Mm. It's saved in a directory called Topman directory. And there it is, hello.c. So now I can go ahead and compile it here. <laughs> you know. You can see it compiled. And I will run it as well. It is a.exe because this is Windows. If it were on Linux, it should have been a out. This is Windows. So, uh, so let me just run it. A.exe and it prints hello top man. Of course, Windows know how to add a new line automatically. That's what I've noticed. You know, so if it were on Linux, it will not add that new line. But I did not add. Okay, so I did. I wrote this C program from Notepad and it's working. So that's the in seven V I Vim and Emacs are used as well to uh, as editors on this terminal here, right on the terminal. So you recall that the first thing I did uh, 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 on the on on the GUI could be likened to me doing something like me doing something like touch, you know, new file, and later coming to do something like Vim, new file. That is to open the file. The first one will create the empty file. This one will open the file with Vim. This one will open the file with VI, and this other command will open the file with Emacs. Right? You can also just call just call up Vim, like this. And it comes up and you start writing. After writing, you save. Of course, you have to do column W and write the name. You know, uh, something. Let's say something. Um, I'm writing something here. <coughs> and I want to save it. So I'll just do column W, put a space, and put the name of the file. Let me call it um, testing. So it's saved now. So double this for right, which means save. Now I want to quit, so I cannot put the Q. Uh-huh. So um, where is it? That's the file here. Look at it. Testing. If I want to see the content of the file. Testing. So I didn't do this video to teach you Emacs command or VI command. I just want you to understand what they really are. You know, what they really are. When we say they are test editors, or sort of have that understanding. And just know that VI and Vim, they are, they are twin brothers. <laughs> That's the best way I can explain it to a newbie for now. You can see they have the same environment. You know, let me quit and then call up Vim. If you can work with Vim, you can work with VI. You know, one, one is the clone of the other. Okay. And then Emacs. Have I used Emacs yet? No. So Emacs. I configured my Emacs not to have that. Um, um, the compute that greets you, you see my pops out of this place, unlike uh, in the sandbox, my pops out, uh, and then uh, that that that's its character, its attitude in uh, on Windows and some even even on Linux, yeah, some Linux system that have GUI. Okay, that's by the way, that's by the way. Um, I think this is all you need to know to to. 
uh, understand what Emax really is and what the I really is. So if you want to uh, learn about uh, Emax, do this. When you open it like this, enter control H. When you enter control H, you can see down at the bottom saying CH type or question mark for further options. Uh, but I know what I want to do, so just enter T. Once you enter T, the Emacs tutorial pops up. So you can you start taking the tutorials, just go through it. You need you need some hours, maybe one, of course not one hour, about two hours to pay attention to these things. Read, go through. It is very practical, very practical. You will learn practically. And then um, for VI, uh, as a material, that material that they send you on the internet is is cool enough to is, is good enough i mean it's okay enough to teach you as a beginner right uh, so that's it for now and i'm going to be doing a video on how to configure your vi or how to configure your emacs to work the way you want it to work you know not just for c programming i, I mean maybe we'll begin from c programming but this will be all for now if you like what you just watched if it was helpful please do subscribe and i like you to follow me on social media on github facebook twitter i'll be glad to connect with you connect with me on linkedin as well at t paul dickie thank you thank you so much for watching